Facebook Live listeners, I was doing some actual uh, some work for my other journalism job here. My guess is he's going to go over and say hi to the supporters, but I don't know. You just never know till he comes down to the bottom of those stairs. It's about 75 degrees here in West Palm Beach. I believe the temperature was in the 30s in Washington when the uh, president left this morning. There he is. You can hear some cheering off to the left, his supporters. As I said, a crowd of about 80 folks or so. Here he comes down the stairs. Salute to some of the military personnel. And now he's making his way over. He's making his way over to the crowd here. He's talking to uh, a couple of individuals. A guy's giving him a T-shirt. Some type of uh, T-shirt was presented to him. Now he's going over to his crowd of supporters. As you can see, he's talking to this group of supporters that's waited for him here at the airport. Ah. Might be getting a view of some of the photographers taking his picture. I see Reince Priebus and Steve Bannon getting into one of the uh, limos right over there. White House Chief of Staff just got in, and then there's Steve Bannon getting into that limo for the ride over to Mar-a-Lago. Meanwhile, President Trump is shaking hands, making some remarks, uh, talking to people. It's like he's signing some autographs. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, Palm, uh, President Donald Trump just landed at Palm Beach International Airport in West Palm Beach, his third straight weekend here. Can't move the live view. He is greeting a group of supporters on the runway at uh, Palm Beach International Airport before he takes the brief motorcade trip a couple miles east to his Mar-a-Lago club in Palm Beach. It's like he just kissed somebody's hand.
Earlier, some guys gave him, it looked like a black T-shirt. We'll try to find out what that is. Once again, if you're just joining us, we are at Palm Beach International Airport. President Donald Trump has just landed on Air Force One for his uh, third consecutive weekend visit to his second home at uh, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach. He uh, came down the steps and went over to this crowd of uh, 80 or so supporters who were gathered there to uh, watch his arrival and uh, spending a good several minutes with him. Should be soaking up some more adulation tomorrow when he goes to a campaign rally in Melbourne. Today is uh, marks four weeks that he's been in office. It's four weeks since Inauguration Day. And one of the things that he will be doing this weekend is possibly interviewing candidates for the uh, National Security Advisor's job. Um, at Mar-a-Lago. He's waving, making a few remarks, a thumbs up. Now he's saying hello to a couple of uh, military personnel. Now he's going to get into the same limousine as uh, Reince Priebus and Steve Bannon for that ride along Southern Boulevard over to Mar-a-Lago. This is Palm Beach Post presidential team tarmac coverage. These uh, video images you're seeing are being brought to you by Thomas Cordy. You'll also want to check out mypalmbeachpost.com for the still photography of award-winning legendary lensman Alan Eyestone, who has been uh, taking pictures of this event. I'm George Bennett, staff writer. The motorcade is moving out now. As I noted, the president is riding in a uh, kind of tricked out Chevy Suburban SUV rather than the uh, more traditional limo that he used last week when he had the Japanese prime minister in town. Looks like Sean Spicer's in one of those vans. Here comes the motorcade. There's that scary looking black truck. That's always my favorite part of the motorcade. I'm not even sure we should shoot an image of that. I don't know what, what all is going on in that truck. And now here you got some fire rescue paramedic units. Yeah, there's that truck. I don't know what that is. And the motorcade is now leaving the uh, airport property, getting ready to go on Southern Boulevard, which is uh, in all likelihood shut down at all the major intersections. So once again, President Donald Trump has landed in West Palm Beach for another weekend in Palm Beach County. It's his third weekend in a row. We will have coverage all weekend of the president's activities here on his, on, on, at the Palm Beach Post, mypalmbeachpost.com, postonpolitics.com.